Hey guys, welcome back to the Coding Flamingo Hot Dog app series. Up until now, we have created a, a machine learning model that identifies whether or not uh, the picture is a hot dog, which I changed a bit. I'll get into it in a few seconds. And a way to upload the image to, uh, to the browser and then to the server. In this video, we're going to look at, at running that model in the server. So basically marrying those two things off. Off camera, I changed the model uh, because the model builder that uh, Visual Studio created. It takes an, uh, a file path for the image and so we, that would mean that we have to save all the images in the server and you know we're not that type of company so uh, we could have changed the input uh, but that would have taken time to, to instead of being from a file to be from memory and I found a github repo from Microsoft with a sample that does that uh, so you can run it on web apps. So here's the link to the GitHub repo. I put it in in the program. So I, I, I just took their uh, training and uh, changed the input. So usually the input comes from that they download uh, from storage. I change it that it just goes to the training data folder on their assets and uh, I, I copied the hot dog pictures there, basically the same, like hot dog, not hot dog, and everything else stayed the same. Um, so once that finished, I built the model, which basically just you just run this on debug, and it will take a, a few minutes, and it will get it done. So after that, uh, I created this folder in the hot dog app server where I copied the zip file, which is basically the output of the model. Um, for this one, one thing that I did, so usually when you build, well, when you build your web applications, it actually doesn't run from here. It copies the files to an output file. So that's when you go to bin and, and it copies all the needed files there. So you have to tell it to copy it. So what I did is copy to output directory and I only made it to be copy if newer. So, so since we're not going to be changing it much, we don't want to copy it every time we build. So I just put it here in, in the properties, copy if newer. Um, so then after that, I went to the uh, Nugget packages. And I included the following Nugget packages. So the extensions.ml, .ml, .ml image analytics, ml.vision, and the tensor TensorFlow one. So these are the ones you need to to run this uh, runtime. Uh, after that, we we have to go to. Oh, and I also added the spin kit. This is just to make the UI a little better. Uh, that's on the client side. I'll show you later. So now we're gonna go to startup, and then here we're gonna add. Um, the prediction engine pool. So the, this basically creates a pool of prediction engines uh, that it will, it will be used whenever your service gets called. And if you see, it gets the file path from the configuration. So obviously not settings. I added .ml image classifier. So in here you would put it wherever you saved it. Um, and when I added that, it asked me to add this. So now let's go to the hot dog controller. So in here, we're gonna, so we created the service, so now we have to pass it. So I'm just gonna copy the constructor. And we have to add the extensions.ml. And in here, so this is from last time, we get the image, we, we read it and we get into base64. Uh, then we change it to bytes. I added this one just to validate that the image is a valid image. So if we go here to the definition, it's basically just checks the, the bytes where the file starts um, to make sure that it matches the type of the image that we want. So like uh, here you can see the different types and in here we just check if it's a JPEG or a PNG. We return true, if not we return term false. Um, that's a quick way to check the files. Uh, and here is where we have to add the actual processing because right now we're doing this false thing. It's very simple. 
so we have the we're gonna get a, a result of an image prediction and we're calling the prediction pool this is not liking it oh I, I removed the return and so we're basically using the prediction engine that we're passing uh, and then we call the predict which basically just uses the model to predict the the image and we pass the image that we created and then we we get the result and we we basically this result has like all the the stuff needed so like if we see here like it has a score and it has a so it has a score for all the labels so like it'll have a score for a hot dog and non hot dog so you want the maximum score of that and then the prediction label so basically whichever has the highest score will be the prediction label so in here to return it to our user we return uh, the prediction score max and we change it to a string uh, just because I made the accuracy string and then it's hot dog it's a bull so basically my prediction checks that of whether or not the prediction label equals hot dog so now let's go to the client because I, I changed a little bit in the client uh, mostly just to make it more user friendly uh, so we have the input that's still the same the image that's still the same I removed the, the button that said like send image just because when you upload the image you assume you you want to check it and then I created like I used the spin kit that I talked about uh, that's another project uh, here that basically creates like spinning things for blazers really cool project I use it a lot in all of my product in all my projects uh, so basically while well, it's detecting which basically we set to true before we send the stuff to to the server and then to false again and it's important to put state has changed because if not sometimes blazer it gets lazy and doesn't actually update the view so basically I, I did that when it's checking we just say checking if it's a hot dog and it'll have like a loading icon and then when we get the result if it's a hot dog we say it's a hot dog if it's not a hot dog I say it's not a hot dog I had the accuracy uh, just to show but that looks more confusing uh, we we could show it but it really just made it more confusing uh, users shouldn't really care so in here is the same so basically we're just sending it to the server how how we did before and then we read the result and put in the hot dog so that stayed the same so we're gonna select the hot dog see it's checking it tells you that it's a hot dog so now let's grab one that it's not a hot dog and it's not a hot dog the first time it takes the first time we call it it takes a while just because it's building everything but after that it's fairly quick as you can see so I don't know let's grab this one and see it's almost immediate so it's good to have the checking one just just in case your server is slow or something but it works so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one